It'll be fun to tell you guys that I had to restart this uh, this entry several times because my phone kept going off, and for some reason I'm a maniac and refused to mute it. Anyway, though, I'm going to squeeze in my talk of the Way of Light and, more importantly, Hevel into this vid. It should be expected that other lore series agree with what I'm about to say, that the Way of White is basically Gwyn's Covenant. It is led by his uncle, Allfather Lloyd, or at least it was started by him. The White Seance Ring states, A divine ring entrusted to the head bishop of the Way of White and apostle to Allfather Lloyd, uncle to Lord Gwyn. Now, I don't believe Lloyd had a lord soul, so he likely died 900-some years ago. However, before he perished, the ancient legend already discussed began. It's likely that Lloyd was already a key member of, probably in control, of a church and or religion could have, that could have possibly been known as the Way of White already. I believe this because of the Emit Force and Twop Miracle, which start with their description, Outland Miracle, foreign to the Way of White. Miracles and religions, or covenants, that practice them existed outside of Lordran. Anyway, in utilizing any tools he could, Gwyn came to his uncle and threatened that he need start an entire plan to search for the undead, wipe them out, and also kindle bonfires, keeping the dark away. When I say threatened, by the way, I don't mean that Gwyn took his uncle by the collar and held his fist up, but rather threatened in a way that one's boss tells you to do something, and so you do it. Besides, his church and religion, the Way of White, probably became the grandest in all the world, so he was fine with his nephew's plan. Lloyd's Talisman and the Divine Ember both state that the Covenant's members are praised for their undead hunting. The Homeward Bone description reads, Bonfires are fueled by the bones of the undead. Before Rhea arrives at Firelink Shrine, Petrus will eventually give up the following information. Undead clerics are given a mission to seek kindling. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires with humanity. Through kindling, we shall one day be granted magnificent powers. To this I say, aha! While it does take humanity to kindle bonfires, the fuel to start them in the first place is the undead bones themselves, which the Way of White specifically hunt. Now what's my point? That the Covenant is established by Gwyn, through his uncle, to hunt the undead, who he doesn't want living, so they cannot become the Dark Lord one day after killing him. And they use humanity to fuel the bonfires, because we already know it's a separate creature that the pygmy put in place for his undead to gather and become the Dark Lord. So if Gwyn has his covenant, destroying the humanity, in essence, to kindle the bonfires, they have that, uh, that give and take, that, uh, that Cold War kind of thing going on. Awesome stuff. One last thing about the Way of White. I believe I know one way that members are selected to travel to Lordran. The Holy Robe description reads, Those dissatisfied with the Church teachings must first test their... Uh, nope. Those dissatisfied with the Church teachings must test their faith by going on a spiritual journey. This is ritual self-purification of the Way of Light. This armor is found in the Catacombs, which we all know is on the way to Pinwheel, who holds the Rite of Kindling. We already know this is Rhea's mission. It seems it's that important to kindle the bonfires, and it would be if you were Gwyn, that even non-undead might be sent, if they meet a different set of parameters. Having trouble believing in our ways lately? Head to the catacombs or retrieve the kindling. You'll either succeed and make us all happy, or die off and stop being a problem. Kindling, by the way, was originally a cleric task anyway, a sacred rite according to the description of the rite of kindling. I wanted to include Havel in this entry because his place is even more so that of a pawn than that of the Cleric Covenant. Havel's story is quite interesting. He has a Lord's soul, as far as I can tell, the same as Gwyn's Four Knights do. The only one, we, oh yeah, we only get Tornstein's soul besides there being four of them, so who's to say that Havel doesn't also have one? Of course, there should be a reason why we don't get it from killing him, and that reason is he went hollow. You see, Havel was there at the beginning, helping Gwyn kill the dragons and take reign of the world. Havel's ring states, The ring was named after Havel the Rock, Lord Gwyn's old battlefield compatriot. Now at first glance of that, he could have come along many, any time during Gwyn's reign. The three problems with that, however, is that the Dark Lord made a first attempt early on, and Gwen went to use his body as singer for the first flame. There wouldn't have been time to become a battlefield compatriot afterward. Secondly, the Dragon Tooth description reads, Created from an everlasting Dragon Tooth, Legendary Great Hammer of Havel the Rock. 
so we know he probably killed his share of the beasties. Lastly, Hevel was around when Seath came into the mix, which was before the dragons were defeated. I'll go much, much more into Seath's role in this separate Role in a separate entry, but for now, the Great Magic Barrier description. Havel the Rock, an old battlefield compatriot of Lord Gwyn, was the sworn enemy of Seath the Scaleless. He despised magic and made certain to devise means of counteraction. So, he was clearly around when Seath came into the picture and helped Gwyn fight the dragons. So, what happened to Havel? Most of you already know this. He's locked in the Watchtower's basement, which the key for reads. There are rumors of a hero turned hollow who is locked away by a dear friend. For his own good, of course. It's my theory that Gwyn owed too much to see. Havel was becoming a problem, especially considering he was likely making it a choice between himself and the scaleless dragon. Havel probably wanted Gwyn to see reason, and to cast Seath out entirely, for the good of the kingdom, but his pleas likely went on deaf ears. Seath had his slimy grip around many things, including Guinevere, and his experiments are probably what allowed Gwyn and his knights to destroy the dragons in the first place. However, I'm saving more of that explanation for a later entry, as I said. Havel's lack of faith, amongst random selection, turned him into an undead, or possibly he was even one for a long time already. I believe the description is clear enough that Havel was locked away as an undead, and then became hollow while imprisoned. This actually makes sense as well, because Gwyn definitely would hate the undead, and therefore if his, one of his, anyway, closest knights became undead, he would want to get rid of him. Poor, poor Hadwell. Also, Gwyn's a jerk. We should kill him again.